Ready? It's on now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's on, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do, and make sure when you hit that bell that you watch the video. I'm putting that at the very beginning. <laughs> that's gonna be at the very beginning. They gonna see me at this stage. Period. I'm putting that at the very beginning. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome to uh, the magical place that is BTK. As you can tell by the title of this video, I let you guys uh, be in charge of my makeup today. So um, every single decision, well not every single decision, but like kind of sort of every single, most of the decisions that are made for my makeup, the main point of the decisions that I'm making for my makeup today, uh, you guys chose over on Instagram. I did a poll um, where I gave you guys an option that I really liked and an option that I didn't like. Um, and see what you guys came up with and you guys came up with something uh, that's actually I'm, I'm pretty okay with I really don't know what else to say so I guess I'm just going to start by saying uh, theme song getting off to a crunchy start because I did not give you guys any options for eyebrows but I only have certain eyebrow products that I have that I use so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then we can get started yeah okay. boom my brows are on and I've already primed my lids with the MAC Pro paint pot in the shade perky I was trying to figure out what kind of eye look to do and the options were either halo eye or a cut crease um, and 55% of you guys said Halo Eye. I don't think I've ever successfully done Halo Eye. But I have been watching like tutorials on how to do them. And also, when I said pick a color story, I was like, do you guys want me to do like a neutral eye? Because we know how well I do with neutrals. Um, or should I do a colorful eye? Everyone said colorful. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to choose a palette to make a colorful eye with. And then we can get started on what I think a Halo Eye is going to look like. Okay, I think I figured out a color story thing that I want to go with or whatever. I'm going to be using the Nikki Tutorials palette. I'm going to be using the Holiday Collection from um, Juvia's Place. Um, this is the Nubian Royal. So, I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do it. But I think I have like a vision in mind. And keep in mind, this could not work out in our favor. But I'm really feeling like purple and blue and green. Anyways, I'm bringing the camera in. I kind of feel like I need to put on more of the paint pot, actually, and bring it like all the way up to my brow. So, I've been really, really trying to like think of like more fun content to come up with that like isn't really tutorial based. like. Like, you guys are watching me do makeup, but I don't really think that I'm teaching you guys anything. You know what I mean? So, um, someone brought to my attention that, you know, people aren't here to, like, be taught how to do makeup because there are so many people who can teach people how to do makeup. I'm just, like, a makeup-based, um, I don't, I don't really know that influence is the word, but, like, I guess personality in the beauty community, if that makes any sense. Although I don't know how like in the beauty community I actually am. I'm just saying like, I'm really trying to like branch out and like get out of my comfort zone and like start doing more YouTube content that people like want to see. And I was, I was really nervous when it came to this because um, I don't want to take credit for this video because I actually saw um, King Kaya, who's somebody that I follow on Instagram. He just started a YouTube channel. His first video was like putting it into the hands of his subscribers, which I thought was really cool. So this, I mean, plenty of people have done this um, YouTube idea before, but I specifically wanted to do it after I watched King Kaya do it. And I'll link his stuff up over here. So now that my eyes are nice and primed, I'm going to take the color Plot Twist and I'm just going to put that like all over with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to put that everywhere, like all the way up to almost the brow. Color and just, I kind of want to stamp it in and then blend it outward. I want more color than that. I'm like learning how to play with my 
lighting settings too, like from my camera, I mean from my computer. My camera's just really bright on my face and I feel like it just snatches whatever like melanin was left. It's just like, yeah. we'll take that. Is that too wild? I don't know, but it's already up there now. All right, and then in the area that I'm gonna call like my crease area, I'm going to take the color Amsterdam and just right beneath that, start blending that color on over so that those two colors can like, I just wanted something lighter to like marry that color right there. Does it offend you guys that I still get nervous to be on YouTube? I'm just wondering, cause like, I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like no one's ever actually given me a reason to be like nervous to be on YouTube. And typically and generally people have, I, I don't think I've actually gotten one mean comment ever. I've gotten one dislike on a video that I know of, but I don't think I've ever gotten a mean comment from like anyone. But I'm still like always really nervous. Not hating it. Not loving it. Not hating it. All right, so we're going to leave the Nikki palette right where it is. And now we're going to jump into the Juvia's Place palette. But I do like the way that, that I think I can work with that. I think. All right, so next I'm going to, do these even have shade names? I don't think they have shade names. They really don't have shade names. Ain't that not a bitch? All right, now that this blue that looks really purple actually is down, I'm gonna take shade three, and I'm gonna take a tiny fluffy brush, and I'm gonna put that on the inside and the outside. I'm just gonna pat that in. So we're just gonna pat that in. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh no, I gotta bring this camera in so y'all can see this. So y'all can see this! But look at that purple color. Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty, actually. But oh my god, that's pretty. Just this really packs on some color, don't it, though? I like that color a lot. And then with another fluffy brush, I'm going to bring in this color right here. But it's going to be a tinier fluffy brush, and I'm just going to slightly put that on both sides of that so that they touch before we put our brightest color in. Oh, look at my little llama mirror. Ain't it cute? It's from Five and Below, but I like love llamas. I know Juvia's Place is really, really pigmented, by the way, so let me tread lightly. That's so pretty. I literally feel like a professional. I thought somebody came in my room. <laughs> I've never successfully done a halo eye before, so forgive me for being excited. There is somebody. Come in! Oh. I thought you was working. I don't want to interrupt you. No, I am, but like, I was like freaking out. I was like, am I losing my mind? Like, am I crazy? Uh-uh, what you doing? No, you're not fine. Well, my, my best friend, she wanted to sit here in my room, but... Hey! I was downstairs. <laughs> You want to be featured in a very famous person's uh, YouTube? Dude, I'm very famous. Oh, uh, sure. No, I'm not actually famous, but you can be featured. <laughs> yeah, I it, like what you got going on with the smoky eye. Thank you. I'm trying to do a halo eye, and it's not really, it's not really doing, it's not really thinking the way I want it to think. But we're going to wake it. You, know, you got to use the tape method, too. You got to use the tape method, and then when you want to clean it up, get a little Q-tip, dip it in, like, get a little soap. And, um, water and then clean up the creases. Um, you guys, um, I'm gonna quit YouTube now. She's actually the beauty guru here. But you like it though? It looks good? Yes. Sweet. Oh, look at me. I'm all inspirational and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you doing good. All right, well, I'm gonna finish filming, but it was good talking to you. You too. Bye. This might actually turn out amazing. I want to put like a blue there. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going back into the Nikki Tutorials palette and I'm gonna dig into the color Mama Tutorials and I'm just gonna tap that in the middle and see what that does for my life. I didn't want it to look that streaky. 
that's my pop of color right there. Maybe I can like blend it so that it's not like such a sharp, harsh line. Maybe I should put something down though. I'm gonna spray my brush and then try to put Mama Tutorials on there. Yeah, let's spray the brush. And then try to apply it. Oh yeah. Oh, and I'm bringing it a little bit up into the crease area. There's my attempt at a halo eye. I'm going to clean up this white because I don't like it. I think it's too too harsh, actually. So I'm just going to take like a powdery, highlighty color, um, probably 5 a.m. from the Nikki's palette. And I'm just going to take this white out of the equation and make that more flesh colored. I think that looks good. It's not even really a cut crease because everything's smoking out. Yeah. Okay, now that I got that rid of that, I'm like happy with this. I'm actually happy with that. Oh! Clean all that up. Because I went, I went in. Now that all that's cleaned up though, I'm happy with that. I'm not even in the frame. But look at that eye. And look at that ashy ass lip. Did I do that? I think I did that. What? This eye is done. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then I will be back to continue the video to see what other type of fun things you guys chose for me. And I stopped and got myself a snack um, after I finished doing the eye, but I think it turned out pretty good. I'm actually like really impressed with myself. All right, next on the uh, docket, I asked for what type of mascara to wear. Uh, and I gave you guys the option between Laura Mercier and Milk Cosmetics. You guys chose Milk. I don't hate this uh, mascara, but it doesn't really do anything that I wanted to do. Um, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in so that y'all can get a close-up on all of this. I don't even know how to, like, film myself doing mascara. But I was trying to make this, like, more fun. I don't know. I'm trying to give you guys, like, quality content. Yeah, see, I, just, I feel like they don't really lift my eyes or anything. It just kind of makes them black. Because my eyebrows go, like, straight out. Like, they don't really curl. I know that I'm not famous, and I get that I'm a small creator. But, like, I know that I have the potential to be, like, a, a, a larger creator. And honestly, just the thought of that makes me very uncomfortable. Like, I think, like, in an ideal world, I would have, like, 10 to 20,000 subscribers. So, like, I can make a living off of doing this. But at the same time, like, I can live a normal life. I just need enough money to, like, pay my bills and, like, buy makeup. And, you know, get my family the things that they need. Like, when people get into the hundreds of thousands or, like, the millions, that is just really weird to think of yourself as being that well known. Essentially, essentially what I'm doing now is like a hobby, but I'm trying to get into the mind space of like, this could be a way of living and I would like it to be a way of living for me. I'm not putting on any bottom lashes. But speaking of lashes, um, I asked if you guys wanted me to go uh, just with my mascara or if I should wear falsies and you guys chose falsies. So I'm gonna put some of those on now too. I kind of want to like actually film myself putting on lashes. Like sometimes, like I get a, get them perfectly, or I'll get like one eye perfectly, and then like this one, for some reason, like this eye always like lifts my eye and looks crazy. But my approach to like putting on lashes, or my approach to makeup in general, actually, is pretty much like meh, close enough. <laughs> Like, right now, my eyes aren't even symmetrical, like, and this one looks a lot more streaky than this one. Outside of, like, y'all being on YouTube, like, in general, people shouldn't be that close to my face. We're in the middle of a pizzeria. So, I'm going to put on one lash on camera and then one lash off camera so you guys can see, like, 
how bad it is. So I'm going to take these D-Star Lashes in the style Bianca and I'm going to put those on my eye. So essentially what I do is I take them out of their packaging and I never cut my lashes. That's probably another reason why my lashes like always give me such a hard time because I like never cut them. I don't know how to like I don't even I wouldn't even know like where to begin. So I got that and then I take my glue. So what I do is I put like a little drop on like my knuckle or something. I literally just said that I want to steer clear of tutorials and here I am giving you guys uh, how I put on my lash tutorial. And I take the lash across that. And of course you let it get tacky. And the most important part of this entire thing is to grab your llama mirror. If your mirror is not a handheld llama mirror then you're doing this wrong already. And once it gets a little bit tacky, I just take this little thing that I got from I take this little thing that I got from Shop Miss A. I clasp it on. And then I look down and I try to press make sure that I press the part that's the center of my eye onto the center. Cuz I figure I could fix the sides later. But the center needs to be on. And then we put the sides in their place. Okay, that never, okay, I, I'm not gonna say it never happens, but like it rarely happens. Every time I'm on camera and I try to do my lashes, it works out perfectly. But like when I'm by myself and I have some place to be and I try to put on my lashes, like my lashes be looking like, do people still do that? <laughs> okay, Bianca. All right, I'm gonna do the other half camera. That was a lot happening at me. Wow. But now my lashes are on. Now that the lashes are actually on though, like are they not gorgeous as fuck? I asked you guys what foundation I should use and the options were either Fenty or Maybelline. I was really hoping that you guys pick Maybelline, but you pick Fenty. So that's what we're gonna do. Got two primer skin. I'm just using the No Pore uh, skin primer from A from Shop Miss A. Now we're gonna use Fenty. Um, it's not that I have a problem with Fenty's uh, foundation. The only problem that I have with Fenty's foundation is that um, I have yet to find my color match. Um, this one pulls very red on me. So, it is what it is. But that's not really Fenty's fault. Because I actually like the formula. Like, once you start using it, I just um, haven't found my shade yet. So, a couple of pumps of that. And my bling brush, use code TK for 10% off. Um, uh, this is the F2 brush. I'm just going to start putting that on all over my face. See how red it pulls? Get into my nose, grab it. It doesn't look bad though. It just looks red. Which I would think I could fix with concealer, but that's only if I get to pick the concealer. And I didn't get to pick con the concealer. Y'all did. I blame y'all. <laughs> so who knows how this is going to end up. Alright, half of my face is done. And oh my god, it is red. It's like literally red. I just did all that hard work on my eyes to look like a fucking tomato. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's telling me my battery's low. So I am literally about to have to sit with this. My camera's about to die. So I'm going to have to sit with this concealer, I mean with this uh, foundation until my battery comes back to life. But I want to at least try to get the base foundation on and then give my battery like 30 minutes to charge. Yeah, no shade against Fenty, but this is not my color. I don't even know why the fuck I made that an option. Like why would I even make that an option? Why would I give you guys this much power to make me look like this? I blame y'all. Like. Check out the neck, check out the face. And I'm not saying I am the best at like shade matching, but like I think that I'm better at shade matching than this. Boy, if you don't get it is full coverage though. And I like the way that it actually feels and I like the finish of it. So if ever I have money and I can find this in my shade, then I'm gonna wear it. But today is not that day. I will, actually, I will see you guys in a couple of seconds. 
but I will be logged back onto my camera in like 30 minutes. Hold it down. <laughs> and we're back. For me, it's been like an hour. How long? Okay, so I watched a YouTube video and then we watched a whole episode of what? What was that? A legacy show. Is that a 30 minute show or an hour long show? Yeah, so it's been over an hour. And I have not touched my makeup since. So it, it, it oxidized down. Like, it's not a bad finish. It's just a bad color for me. So, but we're moving on down the pipeline. So the next thing that you guys picked was concealer. And the options were either my Pure Cosmetics concealer or my Too Faced concealer. I was hoping that you guys would pick my Pure Cosmetics concealer, but I feel like y'all hate me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. They're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So we're going to use the Too Faced concealer. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Toffee, and I'm just going to put it everywhere where I need to highlight. I I hate this so much right now. It blends out nicely, but ah, uh, these colors are a choice. <laughs> Choices. <laughs> like none of these are the colors that I would pick. I don't even know why I made these colors like the option. <laughs> I hate it! I hate it here! Note to self, if you're going to highlight, do it like shortly after you've done your foundation because once your foundation has settled, it's really hard to blend out your concealer. But in normal situations, I guess you wouldn't sit there and wait an hour between putting on your foundation and your concealer so and then I didn't give you guys an option for contouring because I only have one thing to contour with and that is the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Rich so I will do that quickly and then we will move on to the lips I freaking love this brush this is the F3 brush that I used to contour by the way because it lays on the color like heavily but like it blends everything out really nicely too. Okay, last but not least, I asked if you guys wanted me to have a matte lip or a um, glossy lip and you guys chose glossy, which I'm fine with because I'm not actually going anywhere. So I don't have to worry about like messing my, I don't have to worry about messing my mask up. I'm going to use what is my favorite, favorite, favorite lip gloss of all time now. All right, so I'm going to be using K-Cruise Cosmetics. I'm not going to line my lips because I just want something to look like really wet and I don't really need it to be too defined. So I'm going to take um, Miss Grace, which is the shade in K-Cruise Cosmetics. They're a new indie brand who just came out in November, I believe. And these are my favorite lip glosses like of all time. I don't have a discount code. I'm not an affiliate. No one's paying me to say this. These are the best lip glosses I have ever encountered in my entire life. They smell good. They feel very comfortable. And they're super shiny and they're super pigmented. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these on and let you see like for yourself like why I love them so much. Would you look at that? They look so wet and they feel like nothing. Come on. And you can still do this. You know how like lip glosses get like really goopy and you can't make it. You just kind of make a like a muffled like. I love this gloss so much. Like these legit K Cruise cosmetics. Okay, girl. But these are hands down the best lip glosses. All right. And then I'm going to take 42nd Street and pop that on in the middle. Look at that lip. Is that not the oh, is that not the most sickening lip you've ever had in your entire life? It is literally my favorite, 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 favorite lip gloss. I feel like I look good. I mean, the complexion's a little, we'll say, questionable. Uh, girl, look 
Look how orange you fucking look, girl. But other than that, that is um, it for this look. So I'm just going to set my face to go absolutely nowhere in. <laughs> and that will uh, pretty much complete this look and this video, so. <laughs> I kind of want to put on a highlighter. I didn't ask you guys for a highlighter because... I don't know. I don't even know why I didn't ask you guys for a highlighter. I don't know that. I don't know. Can't answer that one for you. Because I'm ill prepared, that's why. With this purple look, I think that I'm going to use the Estate Cosmetics Do Me highlighters. And this one is going to be in shade Exposed, just because it's like pinky and it goes with this whole purple vibe. I love these baked highlighters because they are like a nice little wash of color. If you can see that. Yeah, look at that. So pretty, so gorgeous. And I like how they're very, very, very buildable. I don't think that a makeup look is complete without highlighter, but I understand that a lot of people are really not into like blinding highlighters anymore. I still am. I'm gonna put some down the bridge of my nose. Just like right there on the bridge. And then on the very tip. All right, and then I'm gonna put some like on my brow bone to bring that, bring it all in. Yeah, I'm just going to take this purple from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm just going to press that in my under eye. Oh yeah, that's that makes it like way sexier. I just call myself sexy. Okay. But either way, like my under eyes were like naked. And then I'm going to take that same Do Me Baked Highlighter and just put that in my inner corner. Because you can't not have a bright inner corner highlight and call it a BTK video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda snatched as fuck. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, then please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And, like, actually, like, a lot. Okay, so, like, looking at my analytics of my videos, like, the amount of people who, like, watch my videos and the amount of people who are subscribed to my videos, it doesn't make sense. So, like, if you're watching this, if you're enjoying my content, then subscribe. Click the little bell icon. Make sure that you get notified for every single thing that I put out on YouTube. I'm trying to make sure that I post once a week. I'm doing pretty good at that, um, I think. So, without further ado, that's it for this look. Thank you guys so much for participating in picking out my makeup and picking out these steps. I got to do a halo eye. I can't believe that I actually did it, too. Let me take some slow-mo pictures. Hold on. Are my, are my lashes still on? I also have a giveaway going on in another one of my videos. Um, I will link that up right here. Watch that, figure out what the rules are for that giveaway. I will be giving away a completely unused, brand new, full set of the Rose Gold collection of the Bling brushes. That giveaway ends on March 15th, so make sure that you watch that video and figure out what you need to do in order to get that. Um, and... I don't think that I'm missing anything. Yeah, I think that's it. So, first we're going to do the bloopers. You know what's not a blooper? You know what's not funny? How fucking gorgeous I am. But it ain't nothing funny about it. Cue that blooper reel. Blooper reel! Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Um, it, mm, it's with, um... What the fuck did I prime with? Baby... What color should I use? Ooh, this is colorful. And I'll link his stuff um, up at the top right here. Wait, this side? No, it's this side, okay. I don't know how I feel about blue eyeshadow. I've never worn blue eyeshadow before, I don't think. Oh, I have. I don't think that they do. Do they ever have shade names? I type so slow. Huh. I'm gonna put that on the inside. Because y'all said y'all want it colorful, I'm gonna give y'all it's colorful. Um, bring in, and I also need to charge my fucking battery. It's literally on there like perfect. 
What kind of placebo effect bullshit is that? Nope, still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Uh, okay. One more time. One more time. This is not good. That looks wild. A tip, 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 tip. I should have done like a Q&A or something, but I snapped Ah. Uh, uh, do you guys want to see me put on my lash? I'm asking like I'm on Instagram Live. I'm not. What is that? Oh, no, not that one. I hate that glue. In fact, throw that glue away. Right, the lash across that. Quiet! My phone's dying. My phone's dying. Get some phone. Alright, I asked um, ask you guys which foundation I should use. And Come in! Uh oh. Hush! I just want to go to Food Lion or something so like people can see my makeup. <laughs> Now I feel like I'm like rushing to get my whole face on. <laughs> Just so I can say that I finished the video. I'm talking way too much. But that, oh, that's so gross. <laughs> okay, that actually is it. I will link that video. Ooh. Um, that if away. Mm. And now it's time for the outro. Dun, 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 dun.